Honestly, the Miata or MX-5 in this case really doesn't need an introduction. It's been the most popular two-seat roadster since its introduction for the 1989 model year, and it's pretty much stayed true to its roots of being an affordable, fun-to-drive roadster that pays tribute to classic British sports cars from MG Triumph and most prominently the Lotus Elan. Of course, it's been through thorough changes, updates, and modernizations through the years, but still remains true to the roots. True for all Miatas, the MX-5 is produced at Mazda's Hiroshima assembly plant in Japan and follows Mazda's design credo of Jinba Atai, or oneness of horse and rider. In 2016, MX-5 production exceeded 1 million units, effectively earning the car the title of most popular two-seat convertible sports car in history. Our MX-5 review car is a Grand Touring RF or retractable fastback and is essentially a hardtop convertible with the side buttresses remaining in place. Painted in ceramic metallic, the Grand Touring features black leather seats with red accent stitching. Its win new price is shown to the left. This is the fourth generation ND MX-5 which was unveiled in 2014 as a 2015 model. In 2018, the car underwent mechanical changes including an upgraded engine and is designated as the ND2. As with all MX-5s, the car is rear-wheel drive with power coming from a 2.0-liter Skyactiv G dual overhead cam 16-valve inline 4-cylinder engine. This engine is in the PEVPS engine family and is of aluminum block and head construction with direct fuel injection and a very high 13 to 1 compression ratio. The engine creates 181 horsepower at 7,000 RPM, 151 pound-feet of torque at 4,000 RPM. In July of 2019, Car and Driver Performance tested both manual and automatic cars with the automatic racing from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds. The 0 to 100 miles per hour was reached in 17.3 seconds, with the quarter mile reached in 15.1 seconds at 94 miles per hour. Top speed is drag limited to 137 miles per hour. Regardless of trim level, the MX-5 features an 11.89 US gallon fuel capacity and consumes 3.3 gallons per 100 miles driven and sports an estimated total driving range of 357 miles. EPA fuel economy figures for the automatic are 26 miles per gallon city, 35 miles per gallon highway, and 30 miles per gallon combined. As aforementioned, the MX-5 can be had in manual or automatic form with the latter of which our car is equipped. That transmission is a six-speed Skyactiv drive automatic and comes with manual shift capability, sport mode, and a 3.583 final drive ratio. And take a look around the rear. Very interesting design back here due to the retractable hard top. Has almost a Porsche 911 Targa look to it with these buttresses here that flow in. Lots of gloss black trim. Open rear window with a wind diffuser back here. Third brake light mounted here. Little shark fin antenna. Really cool looking tail lamps. LED tail lamps and brake lights. Incandescent turn indicators. Incandescent rear backup lights. Overall, the rear styling of the MX-5 retractable roof is Really, really cool. Along the profile, the RF looks handsome, top up or down. What with the sporty buttresses? This profile harkens back to shortened Dino 206 GTs, 
Then the RF sits on a 90.9 inch wheelbase with an overall length of 154.1 inches. Steering is double pinion electrically assisted vehicle speed sensitive variable rate rack and pinion with 2.7 turns lock to lock and a 30.8 foot turning radius. Wheels are 17 by 7 inch dark silver finished aluminum with P20540 R17 Bridgestone Potenza tires. Brakes are four wheel disc brakes with 11 inch vented rotors up front and 11 inch solid rotors in the rear. Both front and rear are gripped by single piston calipers assisted by a four channel ABS, electronic brake force distribution, traction control, and brake assist. Brakes can halt the MX-5 from 70 miles per hour to zero and 161 feet. All right, and looking around the front of the MX-5, as you can see, a very aggressive front end styling. Hit the wide open lower grill. Narrow headlamp cutouts, black bezels, incandescent turn indicators, LED driving lights, projector beam headlamps, you have your front marker lights here. Down below you do have lower intakes inside your splitter. All right, and despite this vehicle having an automatic transmission, we do not have remote start. It does have smart key access by using Mazda smart key. On the key fob here itself, you have lock, unlock, hold, press and hold for your trunk, and press and hold for your panic. Nothing special on the back. But by keeping the key fob in your purse or pocket, you can unlock and lock the vehicle doors. To lock the vehicle, simply locate the black button on the door handle. One beep will indicate locking. To unlock, simply press that black button again. Two beeps indicate unlocking. All right, and inside we find a really nicely coordinated interior. With the top down, you have unlimited headroom. Very nice supportive seats. Body color flowing into the interior. Closer look at the door panel. I love that body color accent inside. It's a really, a really nice touch. You have satin chrome door handles, red accent stitching, faux carbon fiber bezels with power mirrors, power windows, power door lock controls. You've also got your power lockout. Stitched padded armrest and door panel area here. Basic seat controls, they're all manually adjustable. This right here just lowers the thigh support, which is a nice touch. Fore and aft is here, backrest here. Lower dashboard, you have a traction control, lane departure warning. You have a leather wrapped tilt and telescoping steering column. And down under the dash, Hood release, trunk release. All right, here are the seats. Very nice, comfortable, very supportive. Single piece bucket seats with integrated head restraints. The Bose premium audio system with perforated speaker panels in the headrest. Red accent stitching. You've got integral seatbelt guides. Alright, pan through the interior and show more details. As you can see here, nice, fluid, easy to use, power assisted rack and pinion steering. As stated before, we do have a leather wrap steering wheel. Also have the red accent stitching on the inside parts of the steering wheel rim. 
satin aluminum trim on the uh, spokes. It's actually plastic, but it's very convincing as satin aluminum. Multifunction controls on the left hand side. You have your volume controls as well as your voice controls and telephone controls. So you can scan and your info for your trip computer. Just a basic trip computer there. On the right hand side are your cruise controls. Multifunction stocks for turn signals and headlights, wiper controls. You got your little paddle shifters here, your downshift on the left, and your upshift on the right. Sporty three ring instrument cluster. Over here is a completely LCD screen, uh, houses a trip computer and all that kind of stuff. And then you've got your central tachometer, gear readout, and your speedometer over here on the right hand side. Pan over the top of the dash. It's a very narrow dash. You do have Mazda's floating touchscreen display. It is easy to use, pretty responsive. Doesn't really control pinch to zoom or anything like that. As you can see, it does have navigation. But by using the controller here, you're able to easily access main controls by twisting your dial, going to your going to your mode, hitting your home button, allows you to zoom through or all of your different apps all of your different settings audio settings here, Bose Audio Pilot your beep settings clocks various vehicle settings Bluetooth devices and your system defaults all within the touchscreen are all within the controls all right moving down you got your circular air vent for the driver uh, passenger air vent and your hazard flashers push to start single zone automatic climate control fan speed controls or you can do the auto or turn them off and your panel distribution here is your top switch passenger airbag indicator and driver and passenger heated seat controls. Behind the shifter, you do have two, uh, two USB ports. There's a shifter or automatic transmission, placing the vehicle in reverse. Does throw up your backup camera with guidance lines. You've also got your sport mode as well. Multifunction controllers plus your stereo on and off and your volume selector You do have your parking brake as you can see the red accent stitching continues throughout the interior Which is a nice continuity touch a small amount of storage in the center armrest not much to be said Cup holder it is removable You can move them around you can even take the cup holder from the passenger side, stick it in the passenger side back here to get it out of the way. A small locking storage compartment here in the back. Because there is no glove box. Overhead, automatic dimming rear view mirror, home link universal garage door opener. You have overhead lighting. You have very basic sun visors. They do not swing out or slide out or anything like that.
All right, and if you want to access the trunk, there are a couple ways you can do it. You can press the trunk button down here in the driver's side footwell. You can also press and hold the button on the key fob. All right, as would be expected, you got kind of a high lift over height and a small trunk opening due to the nature of the vehicle. The top doesn't necessarily reside in the trunk itself, rather in this panel here. As you can see, the trunk is kind of deep, but there's not a whole lot of storage space back here. You do have a little smaller light switch here. Due to the lack of glove boxes, you do have the storage area here for like your first aid kit, your jack and tools, um, and your owner's equipment, owner's manual. And here you have your emergency release. Alrighty, and that does conclude our in-depth walk around review of the 2019 Mazda MX-5 RF. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please comment down below. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash neighborhood car reviews. And our Instagram page at brinsoj1. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.